Sheila, it's Rob, the ex. Dun, dun, dun. I'm sorry, I know you probably don't want to hear from me. This will be quick. I just wanted to call, let you know, Stacy and I are able to take Jason to college next week, okay? Uh, Stacy got a good deal on a U-Haul, so that's taken care of. Um, yeah, but why don't you come by for uh, dinner next week? Uh, Jason would love to see you, and uh, hey, put him on right now, but he is swamped right now, getting things ready for school, and uh, yeah, so dinner. Uh, and there was something else. Well, for the life of me, I can't remember what. <laughs> I guess that's it. Ta-da! Hi guys, it's me, Jason. I just want to catch up my My Face fam up on what's going on. I am packing for college. Now, I need your help. Is this, is this too much stuff? Or not enough stuff? Happy birthday, Big Sis! Why are you singing the wedding march? That was happy birthday. No. Why are you defying me? Also, there's more to this apartment than your room and laptop full of the social media. Come socialize out here, me and Amy don't bite. Unless provoked. SOSing again? SOSing? Sad, obsessive scrolling. It's a disease you've apparently contracted. First of all, that sounds made up, and secondly, I don't have a disease. I can stop anytime I want. What? Eleven MyFace tabs open. I forget I'm on it. Open another one. And eight of them are your bummer son. He's my nephew, but the kid's a bummer. Kind of a dud. What is going on? Big 5-0 got you down? All right, maybe, but I'll tell you what. If turning 50 gives me an excuse to put a dent in a box of wine with you, then I'm all right with that. We're not doing Frenzy of Friday tonight, right? Um, yeah, of all Fridays, I need Frenzy of this Friday. I thought we weren't doing that tonight. I rushed home to prep you. Prep me for what? Your date! My what? Your date. Whose date? Your date. Your blind date. Remember I set you up on that website. Oh, oh God, I wish I could. I mm, ah, want to, really want to, but I'm right there with you. Mm, I can't. Stop in the right headspace today. Well, let's get you in the right headspace, Queen. Where is Amy, anyway? She is with her other wife. I get her back on Sunday. <laughs> what was his name again? Hobbit Feet 69. Happy Feet 65. Please, not that again. I'm going to vomit. <laughs> no, you're not. That's just Mary Jane talking. You, you are a vibrant confident woman who deserves a night of sexy, sexy fun. I think I just had it. You're going to have to go. <laughs> <coughs> I'm all set now. Okay. <laughs> You're going to have no problem getting it. Ew. There'll be no getting of it. It will stay forgotten and zipped up in its <sighs> pocket. What is the alternative? Sitting at home alone and taking no risks? Look, the site is safe, okay? They do background checks and stuff, probably. I know things have been hard lately, but it's gonna get better, trust me. Trust you? What would you know? You and Amy are as happy gay as you are gay gay. We have our fair share of shit. Oh, I'm sorry, did Amy cheat on you with Miss Rochester? Move Miss Rochester into your home with your son? Steals the place right out from under you. And now you're thinking, hmm, probably shouldn't have married a lawyer. So now you have to move into your sister's second-hand trophy room. Blessed, by the way, love you, thank you. And you know, they're moving Jason into college next week. Miss Rochester is shipping my son away. And I think they're turning him against me. Leaves me on red now.
Remember in high school when that group of bitches didn't want to change in the locker room with me because they felt uncomfortable sharing with Elizabo? And you were like, you would be so lucky to get my sister's sweet ass. And then they didn't want to change in front of you either because they thought we were gay together. <laughs> well, I think about that sometimes. Now it's time for me to help you through your shit. I know you've had a shitty year, a really shitty year. And okay, if it helps, your shit stinks worse than mine. It's pretty vile. But it is time to wipe and flush, Sheila. Wipe and flush. Okay, just call me when you want to get picked up, okay? Thanks, Mom. Okay, now GTFO and get your TJF off. Oh, fuck! Oh, sorry, that was supposed to just be a light tap. What do you want, roids? My fibromyalgia. Shit. I'm... You're gonna be great! Now, remember, you're a classy broad. No handy jays before appetizers. I, I can't do this. I, I can't do this. What am I wearing? I have no chest. There's nothing peeking out of this peekaboo blouse. Shut up. You look amazing, queen. Now go wear your crown. I, I can't do this. I can't. Give me your hoodie. What? Hell no. I did not squeeze your rockin' bod into Spanx just to cover up all my hard work with some dirty rat person hoodie. Now fluff your tits and go get your man. Give me the hoodie, bitch. This is really not good for my fibromyalgia. Look. Get this peen's number, or any peen's number. If you show me a real number from a living person that you got tonight, every frenzy of Friday from now until the end of the year is on me. Colada. Getting caught in the rain. <laughs> no, God, it's so funny. It's so funny. Work that far, bitch. Thank you. I'm just gonna sip on this while I wait for my date. Happy feet 65. You'll meet me here. I'll be here any second. Mm. So strong. <laughs> Hi there. Are you waiting for someone? Yes. Happy? What? Happy. Huh? Do you like to dance? Awesome. Happy. Is that word again? Feet. That's a new one. Happy feet! Hey, babe. Who's your friend? Oh, don't break my bar. What are you, 30? Wait, this is a thing? We talk now? It's our last family movie night before our Jason goes off to college. We're gonna miss you, Jason, but you will call. I will, yeah, I will, okay, I'll be back. I swear, I'll call.
watch and learn. What does a girl have to do to get a drink around here? Order one. Thanks for the helpful tip. Bye. Who's your favorite guy? Have you seen the 40-year-old virgin? What? I'm the 50-year-old born-again virgin. Mm -hmm. the guys in here are so mean. I hope you're bad. Have you seen my baby? I've lost my baby. Just joking. I'm Sheila. What's up? Are you bad? Do you have a thing for moms? Go to your room. Dinner's ready. I think he's following restraining order. It's kind of amazing. My sister bet me if I can get a guy's phone number tonight, I get free frenzy for a year. I'm just not used to making a fool of myself. I don't even know what went wrong. Okay. Would it make you feel any better if I told you my drunken ass got thrown out of Chili's last week? What? My fiance dumped me at the same place he proposed a year ago, Chili. Wait, you proposed in a Chili? It was ironic. I'm like that daddy hoodie you insist on wearing. And so I got drunk and management had to remove me because I was making the kids party next to me feel uncomfortable. All I did was offer a few 11 year olds some shots because they're gonna need it to love themselves one day. Yeah, so? No worries about how things are now. Um, FYI, anyone who proposes to you in a Chili's and then dumps you in a Chili's is a certified sociopath. Thanks. I think he was just really uncomfortable being, being, his family never really accepted him. I mean, mine either, but I'm a different person than he is. I hope he finds himself one day. Finds himself with someone uglier than you. Of course. I'm going to be the best he ever had. My sister and my son are both gay, so I know all about this struggle. Sorry about the rents. I don't know what you're gonna do. How did you react when your son told you he was gay? I reacted really well. I mean, I asked him if he was sure, he said yes, and then I told him I love him unconditionally. You know, just to be careful. Mm, careful how? Well, you know, just be careful not to display it. Display it? Yeah, at least until college. I mean, kids are so cruel. Oh boy. What? What? No, I'm not, not at all. Listen, my sister came out really young. It was hard, it was hard on all of us. I just, I didn't want it to be the same for him. How's your relationship with him now? It's really good. Just really busy with school. Finally ready for college, it sounds. Let me just say one thing. When parents say they're trying to make it easier for their children, a lot of the time they're trying to make it easier for themselves. And he may say he's okay, but he could easily be not okay and end up breaking someone's heart in the chilies because he can't mend his own broken sense of self. Hi, Jason. It's Mom. Call me. Call me back. Um, I'd like to have lunch. Just us girls. I'm kidding. 
I'd like to just, I'd like to talk to you about anything. Dr. Phil. Just please call me back. I love you more than you know. Excuse me? Yes? I need to go to the bathroom and I can't with you in here. Can you cry somewhere else? Actually, no. I'll cry right here. Thank you very little. Wait, are you seriously not gonna leave? Yeah, seriously. If you had a shit fucking shit, just do it. Don't be a little bitch. Coming from a little bitch who cries in an apple bug's bathroom? Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! What the hell is wrong with you? Yo, you know what's wrong with me? Stop trying to control my life! Let me be! Can't you just... Let me be? Marnie, just please come pick me up. I'll tell you all about it later. I just really want to go home. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Happy birthday. Um, I'm sorry I didn't call earlier. I kind of just... This day was pretty hectic. Um, but it's... Um, you know, how was how the big 5-0? 